What's going on, people? The Fury 617 here. Why in the fuck I'm watching this shit right here? Why in the hell this show is still on the air? Do you people know, to all the Jersey Shore fans out there, this bullshit is, is killing your brain cells? What's make this show so popular? Another stupid ass reality show that's just feeding our brains out. It's, yeah, maggots just feeding your brains out just by watching this bullshit. Look at this shit. Oh my god, what the fuck is, you know, what the fuck? This is not even scripted. Stuck up bitches, man. Fuck you, Snooky. Fuck you too. What the fuck is... Oh, God. Yeah, and we hate this show, too. Oh, God. What you guys see in this girl? That's right. Take her ass to jail. Yeah, take her to jail. We don't want to see your ass out. Ugly ass. People, what you just witnessed happens to be the third season of this bullshit. Thanks to all you people, the Jersey Shore fans out there, that think this show is so great. Thanks to you people, this shit is on the third season. Whoopie fucking do. I will tell you this. I seen two episodes of this show and not completely done with it. Ever since Jersey Shore came on TV, this sorry ass so called reality show that's feeding our brain cells out has become so popular. Not only that, this show has a whole lot of controversy going on. For instance, you know Snooky, Dookie, Rookie, whatever she want to call herself, Oompa Loompa, Snooky wants Smush Mush, whatever she want to call herself. Remember the guy punched her in the face? Let me tell you something about that incident. He was wrong as hell for punching a girl in the face like that. But I hate to say this. She did have it coming because she was talking all that smack. Trying to show off. Trying to impress her friends. That's what she get. I will tell you this. I love females. But when it comes down to hurt rats, or females want to act ghetto with an attitude problem, want to try to impress their friends, or whatever kind of bad environment they grew up in, those are the kind of females who do not want when it comes down to relationships. When it comes down to relationships, I 
I want that female and I, we want to be connected together like soulmates. Ever since this show came on the air, they pop, you know, they pop up like popcorn. From TV ads to commercials uh, to talk shows, anywhere you can think of, these assholes just pop up. Now, throughout this past summer, that new song from Enrique Iglesias featuring Pitbull, I like it. That's a real nice, you know, I love that song. That's like one of the best songs I heard in 2010. Next to, uh, what's it? Man, I forgot what his name is. Uh, you know, with Kylie Wimog and uh, my man, you know, Tail Cruz, you know, Higher. That's another great song I like. But let's get back to Rika Iglesias. That video, I like it. Ever since the cast of Chelsea Shore appeared on that video, that made me dislike that video, seriously. Oh yeah, and remember j Wow make an appearance in TNA when she confirmed that female TNA knockout named Cookie? Yeah, make things sad. They got two people on there on TNA Impact that making fun of Chelsea Shore by doing a parody of two, uh, you know, wrestlers called the, you know, you know, called the Shore, but, you know, one name is Robbie E and one name is Cookie. Come on. Is Chelsea Shore that popular? You want to, you know, you know what? This show is so stupid. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut this video off shortly because I'm getting tired of talking about this shit. Why in the hell on the Barbara Walters special why in the fuck that the cast of Jersey Shore made it to the top 10 fascinating people of 2010? What the fuck? How in the hell they made that to... You know, how they got a num... You know what? Uh, you know, cut this video. I'm getting sick and tired of talking about this shit. Peace out.